All right, y'all. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Moody Star back again with another video. So of course this video is not going to be too long, but who knows? Um, sometimes depending on like these downloads, like sometimes like it just be a lot that uh, you know I be downloading and you know so I can't ever tell whether or not this is going to be a video that's going to be too long. But I do have time today, so we'll see what happens. Um, so, a couple of things I want to say. First of all, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully, you guys are in the right type of vibration. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Getting to the bag, staying consistent. Um, this is another SR update. So, you know, shout out to all the retainers out there. Shout out to everybody just continuing the journey. Uh, if you're eating healthy while on retention, um, I know you are enjoying your life. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I, I know you guys are having a fantastic, uh, wonderful spiritual journey. So um, a couple of things that I've realized on the journey um, is how clean I feel from within. Like, I actually feel clean as fuck, bro. Like, it's, uh, you know, I'm for the past three weeks now, you know, I've been getting up early, you know, hitting the gym. Uh, you know, and then like, you know, I do my cardio and then also I'm hitting the sauna. So I'm doing two segments, uh, two 10 minute segments of hitting the sauna. Like basically I'm in there for 10 minutes at a time. Um, I realized, you know, since I've been on my journey, I realized that uh, what I did pretty much like three, four, five months ago, like I was still retaining my energy, but I wasn't operating at the at the highest level possible for me, meaning I was still eating different types of foods that um, kind of kept my vibration kind of low. And sometimes like, you know, if you are retaining your energy, you'll feel like a shift and difference, usually when you fast or usually when you start to uh, eat like more foods that are uh, more considered to have life in them. Uh, I could tell you exactly how I fell off. I mean, and mind you, this is possible. And, I, and I'm and i not saying that it's going to happen to everybody. But if you do get complacent, if you do like are, you know, on the journey, you attract a woman. Sometimes just by simply doing that, that can actually take you off the spiritual journey altogether. And now um, <clears throat> you're more so living for that relationship or that connection with that woman. That's exactly what happened to me. Now, I, I don't feel like I ruined my life by having that experience because I learned a lot about myself and I learned about like just the, the, the simple traps. Um, or I say, yeah, like minor traps that will happen if you aren't careful with your energy, if you built it up to a certain point and now you're glowing and now you're feeling amazing, you're becoming attractive. Uh, you have the gift of the gab, you have the confidence, you're walking with confidence, you have God's light within you permeating throughout your body. Uh, you attract, you attract like, you know, different types of individuals. And sometimes when you do that, um, now you're exchanging energy and you can attract high vibrational individuals or you can attra attract uh, people who haven't I would say they're still high vibrational, but because of their trauma and everything, it ever so often um, they pretty much vibrate on a at a low vibrational rate. Um, and sometimes, like when you intertwine with energies, like even if you do have, like if you are an active retainer and then you still are having sex, you have to keep in mind that like your magnetic field within your body, like it picks up on anything that you intertwine with. And once you pick up on that type of energy, you pick up those types of emotions. Now, all of a sudden, you sometimes feel like, damn, like, why am I, like, emotional out of nowhere? Why do I feel depressed or anything like that? And nine times out of ten, whoever you're talking to, whoever you are dealing with, whoever you're sleeping with, whoever you talk to on a daily basis, you, in turn, kind of pick up on that energy. So that's why I say it's very important to kind of uh, just make sure, like, you watch your circle and even if there's like loved ones that you have, you have to learn how to uh, kind of block off like certain parts of yourself. Like you don't have to open up completely 
because sometimes what people would do is uh, they'll ask you questions and and then you learn more of their story. And as you're listening to their story, that actually becomes your reality because, you know, again, the subconscious mind can't tell the difference between, uh, you know, what's what's truth or what's fiction. So we out we have to be careful. And I know the past four months uh, or like basically four months ago, it was just a basically it was a. That so the individual that I was connected with. She was moving at a certain pace and she wanted certain things and she wanted them at that point in time. Me, I'm the type of person to be like, listen, we not going to rush greatness. We never going to rush greatness because if you try to rush anything, um, it doesn't it really doesn't last too long. It usually fizzles out um, and usually that's backed by instant gratification. And just because, you know, like if a female sees a guy who's retaining his seed and he's really on his shit, um, Women can easily get digmatized. That's an actual reality, especially if you have an another desire. Right? Now, if you do that, um, that's damn near a soul tie for real. Like she will pick up on one of your uh, characteristics and she um, whether or not she does the spiritual work to kind of cleanse herself out. Um, even if she does that, like she will always have that a part, be a part of her aura, like damn near for the rest of her life type shit. You feel me? So. That's how powerful we are. That's how powerful like our sperm cells are. And if you happen to be very healthy and you and you eat well and you're clean, you get to realize like, you know, um, you become it's almost like you become a different type of being. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're in a human body, but like you're more so you have more so uh, ha having electricity flowing through your body and you you're almost like a walking, talking like plant if that makes sense. Uh, and when you think about plants, plants bear fruits and fruits are electrical, you know? So if you mirror your insides, just like mother nature, you know what I'm saying? Like do your research, of course, not everything out there is a hundred percent safe. Like we, I used to think that all vegetables and like corn, for example, I used to love corn with the passion. I used to think that was safe and it was healthy. Uh, even when I tried to go like, you know, vegan and vegetarian, uh, which by the way, I'm not vegan and vegetarian, but, um, I've had like different, um, points of time where I just tried certain uh, diets out. So I just wanted to see what that was like and how it would, it would affect my body. Um, where I messed up at was I was still eating processed, uh, foods and going back to corn. I heard that like basically they pumped a lot of like estrogen and a lot of just all type of other stuff within corn. So um, I I really, I got to a point where I'm just like, well, damn, it feels like ain't nothing safe to eat nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, I can't have corn. I can't have banana. I heard bananas is like a gen gen genetically modified fruit. Um, the ones that we see and stuff like plantains, I feel like that's, that's a little bit more natural, but I don't know. They do a lot of stuff with our foods and just a lot of, uh, not just with our foods, but just like, you know, with music and frequencies all together. You, you get what I'm saying? So for me, I got to a point where I was just like, you know what? I was a little, and I don't know if this guy, if this happens to y'all, but I got to a point where I was a little like just uh, frustrated and I said that kind of took the the uh the mode of like fuck it, and it was just like you know what whatever I eat I'm a I'm a speak over it I'm gonna pray over it I'm gonna pray that I can get the uh, nutrients and I'm gonna call it a fucking day, and uh that's why I like vegan and vegetarian like for me it didn't last like for too too long like it lasted for like a couple of years but like I basically went back to eating how I wanted to eat just having a human experience, and it's okay to a certain extent, but um, <laughs> every time when I decide to fast, and and this is all while I'm, on while, while I'm on retention, you know what I'm saying? Every time when I decide to fast and when I start to uh, eat healthier, bro, like, bro, when I sweat, I don't stink. Uh, when I when I pass gas or when I go to the use, go to the bathroom to do number two, Sometimes I'll be like, well, damn, like, I really don't smell shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's because I've been, recently, I've been uh, juicing a lot, 
been eating a lot of fruits. I've been getting that uh, H3O within the body. Like water is good, but if you, uh, you know, adding a lemon to water is always, you know, ideal in my opinion. Um, and since I've been doing this shit, I, I recently uh, going on like, this is three weeks, so it's going to go on four weeks uh, at the end of this week. I just smell better, bro. I smell good. I, my skin is healthy. Um, you know, when I use the bathroom, it's not a struggle. I don't, I don't feel any gas or anything like that. And I have a lot of energy. That's the, that's the like best part. And then even when you talk about like how I'm preparing myself to procreate, bro, my seed, like my son or daughter. Yeah. They're going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem for real. And this is why, like, while you're on your retention journey, uh, you don't want to just settle or go for, like, you know, the first female that likes you, you know, because a lot of females are going to like you. A lot of females are going to want your dick. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying? They get stigmatized. And it's either you are going to maintain your control as far as, like, being masculine and being the man and lead leading this relationship or it can become unpredictable. It can become cantankerous. You can lose your focus just by hanging out. And again, there's nothing wrong with having a good time, bro. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know, if you want to chill with a female, you want to take them out to eat, you know, you want to go here and maybe watch this movie or you want to go bowling or some shit like that. You want to go see a comedy show. Usually if you're watching a comedy show, 80%, 80 to 90% of the people that are watching this show is probably under some alcoholic influence. So, you know what I'm saying? The Matrix, the world is going to like tell you, you know, chill, like have fun, you know, live your life, you know, have a little drink here and there, you know, go out and have some steak or have some wings or have some finger food here and there. We just have to have a level of control as to if we plan on doing that, we have like, it's almost like you have to work your way up to developing like a strict diet, but you don't want to like make it seem like you can't live your life either. You know what I'm saying? But you kind of have to like trick your brain though. I ain't going to, I ain't going to hold you. Cause you've, if you've been eating whatever, been drinking whatever your whole entire life, uh, trying to juice or trying to eat just straight fruits and vegetables and shit like that is going to be very hard. You're going to feel part of you. You might feel a little depressed in the beginning because, because uh, the endorphins that are activated while you eat your favorite foods, you're not, those aren't lighting up anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because you're eating bland foods or you're eating like, uh, you know, celery and things of that nature. But um there's a couple of things you could do for that, doc. You know, and again, I'm not no person who's a diet dietitianist or a nutritionist, true nutritionist or anything like that. But I know for a fact, while I'm holding on to my seed actively, you know, practicing semen retention, um, you know, I'm utilizing the extra life force I have by working out. When I do that, and I happen to eat more fruits. Uh, you know, and then eat less at nighttime, bro, I, I feel like I could do anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? My brain just feels like it's operating at high level. Like it really do. And, um, it's, 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 uh, I, there's always a saying that I love to say, cleanliness is next to godliness, man. Like one thing that I used to hate when I would go to the gym and I was going to the gym consistently, like every day. Like, I, cause I would go to the gym, I would hoop, I would hit the sauna and I'm sweating, right? Um, and when I sweat, you know, shit, I was still eating whatever, you feel me? Like after I got off, like shit, we gonna get, shit, I done burnt how many calories? All right, bet. So I'm finna eat whatever I want. I earn my meal, I, 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 whatever. It feels good at the time. It really does. It really does feel great at the time. But I never think about, you know, the back end, like when I have to use the bathroom or like when my when my clothes smell a certain way. Um, if you take off a sweaty shirt and then like, you know, you don't have nowhere to put it like, OK, you just leave it in your room type shit. Like, yo, when you come back, like you can go away for about two hours and come back nine times out of ten. If you're a typical guy, this shit's going to smell like a football locker room. Hopefully not. 
Because I ain't going to lie. When I, I went to Hollandale High School growing up uh, in Broward County, and, bro, I used to walk past that that uh, football locker room, which is actually the same as the basketball locker room because, you know, I played basketball for that uh, for that school. Bro, that shit smelled horrific, my guy. I'm talking about terrible. I'm talking about, like, it, sound, it literally smelled like motherfuckers died in that motherfucker, but they just smelled mess, uh, musty as hell, too. And um, why, like, I realized, like, the very instant when I changed my diet, bro, and I wasn't eating poultry, I wasn't eating chicken and chicken with all this type of, like, you know what I'm saying, um, all these, uh, what you call them shits? I, I don't know why I want to say hemorrhoids, but uh, hormones, <laughs> hemorrhoids is crazy. Um, yeah, I realized that, like, damn, a lot of this shit was was like in my body type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like eating the chickens and stuff like that. Um on a day on a daily basis. You know. Again, there's nothing wrong with in my opinion, in my true honest opinion, there's nothing wrong with like eating whatever you want every ever so often. But if you want to be God mode, if you want to be like God, if you want to smell good at all times, if you want to perspirate, uh sweat, leave your clothes Leave it closed, whatever. Like, bro, I, you you won't smell shit. Like, you're gonna smell natural. Like, you won't smell like nothing at all, bro. Like, dead ass serious. Like, three weeks in, juicing. The only thing that I'm gonna keep it a bean. I ain't perfect, you know. Again, I'm a guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't care. Sometimes we don't really hone in on like doing self care. We look at that as like feminine and shit like that. But like, nah, we actually do need to take care of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Our fingernails, our toenails, a lot of niggas be having like foot fungus and shit. I know I was, you know, I'm dealing with that right now, but I'm in the process of getting rid of that. Um, the only thing that smells right now, I'm going to give it a bean buck 50, is my uh, my basketball shoes and my running shoes, which I used those for a while. And during the time of uh, using them, uh, you know, I was eating whatever. And it had like a terrible smell. You feel know I me? Mean? I'm just like, nah, I can't. I can't keep doing this shit. <laughs> like this shit is crazy. But uh, I plan on getting some new shoes and shit. Um, and then like when you, for me, it's like when you can rotate shoes, like you don't have to worry about the smell. But the point of what I'm saying, the like the reason why I'm saying all of this is because like, bro, I'm drinking a lot more H3O, which is basically water or uh, water from different fruits. Uh, you know, oranges are good. Apples are good. Um, you start simple like that. And I just be, I smell godly now. You know what I'm saying? My hair feels great. Um, and this is the combination of eating godlike and having that godlike energy by retaining your seed. We all have to remember that we are super, super intelligent from within. We don't give ourselves enough credit, bro. And we were programmed to not know about ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in school, they ain't teach us about a lot of the stuff of what I'm talking about now. Like, you know, the uh, how foods like process within the body. You know, um, we are electromagnetic beings. OK. Um, so, yeah, cleanliness is next to godliness. I'm smelling like amazing. Um See, I, look, like without giving y'all too much, too much like t TMI or whatnot, like just know that your your lady that you decide to link up with, or this is why you want to be careful with who you link up with, bro, because you're not gonna want to like give away the sac sacred energy. Like you literally are going to feel like Adam from the garden, like originally, you know what I'm saying, or whoever else was before the motherfuckers. Cause I don't know, like there's a whole lot of stories and theories about you know how creation came to be, but, uh, yeah, feeling great, uh, waking up easily, like, I'm talking about, like, I don't feel tired when I wake up, bro, when I wake up, it's like, I don't feel too wired, because one thing that I realized, and I, I, I almost forgot to mention this, um, being able to also be sober while having this diet while going on retention is uh it's very powerful um i would say take your time with it you know what i'm saying 
obviously take your time because again, people are, you know, everybody is different. Everybody has their own rituals and what works for them. But usually I want to say three to four days after like I stop smoking, my body reacts in a way <laughs> where it's almost like I, like my body acts like it was a fiend. Like I'm just keeping it a beam. And I, know, I understand the reason why that happened. And the reason why that happened is because of the processed foods that I was eating. Um, whether you know it or not, they spike our foods, foods, the marijuana, they spike everything with a certain type of like uh, substance that I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to disclose right now because I ain't trying to get banned or anything. But they put a lot of stuff in there that will make you react as if you were just uh, like, let's say, like, for example, if you stop eating your favorite food, if your body has a withdrawal, it's going to be like you, uh, like the, some, of, some of the guys that would drink lean, for example, or, you know, do hard drugs. When people usually cut back or like they're stopping like drinking lean or, you know, doing coke or whatever, the hard drugs, the body reacts in a sense of like, okay, uh, we need this. You know what I'm saying? Like we are addicted to this shit. We're not getting this shit. So your molecular structure literally is trying to rearrange itself. So it's not like you're going to die or anything, you feel me? But it's more so like the body reacting to the fact that like, okay, we're not getting this foreign substance anymore. So now it's time to reset. So um, if you ever do go through any body withdrawals, just understand that it's just your body, uh, you know, kind of filtering out a lot of the toxins that was w uh, within it in the first place. So I say all that to say... This was probably like the first time where I, I actually, you know, because usually, yeah, like I said, usually after four days, I feel some type of way. I get irritated. You know, I'm like, you know, extra emotional and shit like that. But that was because of the food I was eating. Since I've been juicing, it's the complete opposite. It is literally the complete opposite, bro. Like I don't, my body wasn't having no body withdrawals. Like my body wasn't acting no type of way. I wasn't, I felt great. I really felt great. And this is all because I switched up my diet. I completely stopped eating meat. You know what I'm saying? Like from time to time, uh, throughout the three weeks, I was still like consuming fish. But I was like kind of weaning myself off like, you know, certain things in order for my body to operate at a high level. And bro, this is amazing. Food therapy is a real thing, bro. And everything is frequency too. So once you have the food therapy down pat, and now you have the frequency, now meaning you can raise your frequency. You know, you can operate out of your heart chakra. You know, um, you're not in your lower three chakras when you are, are retaining your seed because what, what's happening, you're rising to, uh, to Christ consciousness. When you get to your heart chakra, bro, that's very powerful. You can attract a lot of things in life, bro. When you get to that, to that vibration of love, vibration of the vibration of love is the highest uh, frequency that's out there right now. When you exercise love or when somebody shows you love, you know, that's, that's also, um, nourishing your body. Like by doing good, like having high vibrational conversations. If you, you know, even if you watch positive videos, bro, that's literally you feeding your brain. You feel me? This is why it's good to be positive too. It's good to be positive because there's a lot of negative shit that does exist within this realm, within this Within the matrix, you know, there's people that are on lower frequencies projecting. So in order to like, you know, live your life and balance out your life and shit like that, you have to maintain a certain frequency. Be at that, you know, start, I would say start from the heart chakra, but you got to get through your lower three chakras first to get there. You know what I'm saying? And um, it almost becomes like a life hack for real, bro. Really. Like, it really almost becomes like a life hack. You can go, you can be on the street for 30 days and you decide that, you know what, you're going to go to the town, go to town with your lady for five days, but whole time you can still recover quickly because you're eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're still meditating. You're still gaining back some of that life force energy that will be burnt when you do have sex, which ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you're having like a even transfer of energy. So... 
bro, it's it's like literally clear as day. You can start today. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people find it hard to discipline themselves because they just simply don't have the willpower. They don't have the willpower from within their body because they are steadily eating whatever they want to eat, watch whatever they want to watch, release whenever they want to. Um, and you're kind of cheating yourself when you try to find like a quick fix or try to get something that's going to taste good or feel good for the moment. You know, um, you can, you can, uh, reset your body. There's, it's possible to like reset your taste buds. If you worried about like taste, uh, if you worried about like quitting, like, you know, chicken and or whatever the fuck you want to quit, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we really, <laughs> it's like the average person is going to cater to their taste buds. Uh, they're going to cater to what they see. They're going to cater to what they smell. They're going to cater to what they touch. And of course, you know what they feel, you know what I'm saying? Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, bro. But at the same time, you have to have a balance, bro. Sometimes what we see and what we feel and what we touch is actually not what it is. <laughs> like for real, like we could be tasting something. We could be having like a a bowl of Cheerios and it's saying like it's, you know, it's Honey Nut Cheerios and it's made with honey and all that. And whole time, this shit could be processed. But your taste buds are saying like, well, this tastes like honey, so it must be good. You know, this milk looks, you know, it's nice and white and clear and everything. It doesn't seem like it's pus or whatnot, but the whole time, that's exactly what this, the fuck it is. And we consume that shit. You feel me? They, they do certain things to make it seem like, okay, this shit is what it is. And, you know, you just have to uh, kind of like see with your first eye, which is your third eye, uh, see through a lot of the processed things that they have. They have processed foods and then they also have processed people. You have processed humans. You, you got GMO ass humans walking around right now. GMO as fuck, don't even know it. And they think like, you know, okay, I can, I can have, and again, I'm not, I'm not shitting on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to make nobody feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Like if that's all you can afford to eat processed foods or whatnot, I would say even if you don't want to change your diet, bro, at least fast. Drink more water and just fast. Because even when you fast, your body, again, is going to automatically reset itself. It's in tune with the universe's vibration. So it's like, you know, it, it, it's a, it's amazing to really be a human being and really understand like, okay, um, there's a lot of things that we don't know about ourselves. We don't know about this vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Again, we, we think we're just like an average, uh, you know, 1990, whatever the fuck ass car that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we just can simply do this and simply do that. And that's simply false. If you go on Google and you look up the human body and how many parts the body has, and when you talk about the organs, we talk about the organs, we talk about the whole system of how a human body is set up and made, bro. Really, like you really think we was just made here just to eat whatever we want to eat, fuck whoever we want to fuck and sleep when we want to and shit when we want to. Like that might be a part of the human experience. But there's just so many like facets and just parts of your body that like, bro, like ain't no way we just out here just to be living primitive. Ain't no way we out here just to be living in our lower three chakras. Ain't no way we just out here just to survive and pay bills. This is why when you go to work, you probably feel some type of way, bro. You probably are experiencing work hypertension. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I actually experienced that like a couple of days ago and I decided to call out. Like, nigga, y'all not finna raise my blood pressure. You got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'ma control my frequency. I'ma I'm gonna make sure my mood is where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? And I'ma I'm gonna continue to speak life. I'ma con continue to speak uh, you know, love into the world over my life as well. Being able to have this type of vision and have this type of vibration and frequency, bro, it's amazing, dog. And you develop a level of discernment where it's like you don't just connect with anybody. You get out of that scarcity mindset. This is why it's a beautiful thing to be on, you know, see more attention, uh, you know, understand like uh, feeding your body, not just feeding your stomach. And that's the thing. We only just feed our body just to like please our stomach. 
But bro, you can you can have different foods that can improve your brain, that can improve your eyesight, that can improve your teeth, that can improve your breath, that can improve like your scent or your overall scent because you have light flowing through you and you're on seamer attention. In the video that I posted yesterday, I was talking about accessing the God particle. And this is when you raise to uh, Christ consciousness. That's a real thing. Understand you have the control, bro. You have the control. You can start this. You, it's we, we have to stop blaming the powers that be. Like, for real, for real, we have to stop blaming them. Because at this point in time, yeah, they brainwashed a lot of people. MK Ultra, a lot of people through music and shit. They do all type of stuff subtly. Like, even with the whole... The T-Mobile shut down and the Facebook shut down. You know, I even speak on that because, you know, like, again, it's it's all about control. They would they it's this they look at humans as just like, you know, little rats in a maze and shit. And they're going to see like, OK, what happens if we change up their environment this way? How how are they going to react? Bro, like. This is why I don't pay. I don't really pay none of that. I'm, I'm aware, but I don't pay none of that, like too much attention because. I know how complex I am from within. And I know like when I go to sleep, I'll be having astral, astral uh, travels. I'll be dreaming all the fucking time. It's a lot more than what, what's happening on this, on the face of this planet. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's uh, like, put it like this, bro. What we can't, anything that we can't see is, and when you talk about like, and when I when I mentioned this, I'm, I mentioned it from like, you know, the third dimension, because we can only see from the third dimension. We can only see a certain uh, spectrum of light, the spiritual realm and everything that we really can't see type shit. That's where the real shit is at. That's where all that life force energy and all the spirits and all the frequencies and all the random thought, random thoughts. That's where that's at. You feel me? And a lot of times we are just a slave to what we see, what we taste, what we smell, just our five senses. But we have to understand we got to tap into our sixth sense. You can develop the sixth sense by developing balance within the body. You'll start to operate at a high level, operate at a high level. Your brain will be will be able to process information. And you'll understand this information. If even if you have to like rewatch videos or or if you have to uh, write something down 10 times, you can reprogram your mind. You can take back your power. You can live godly while, you know, while still existing in Babylon. Like for real. Um, so just keep in mind, just stay tapped in, man. Stay tapped in, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, and when it comes to dealing with women, just uh, maintain frame. That's, I think that's probably like the biggest thing for guys, bro. Like we do all this work, we do all the spiritual work and we have all these healing abilities, which, which by the way, if you are on retention and you're eating healthy and, um, you are consistently, you know, raising your frequency, you actually have the ability to heal. But speaking of healers or speaking of like people who have the ability to heal, Nine times out of ten, and this happens with a lot of women too. And I just and I actually wanted to bring this up in my video yesterday, but like I was like, let me go ahead and do this now. But like natural healers naturally have a high sex drive. I repeat, natural healers, if you well, you well, I don't know if guys consider themselves or even look at themselves as like, oh, I'm a healer, da da da. Nobody really I don't know, it's not really uh talked about like that unless like you are actually a doctor or in some type of practice but women they're naturally healers they're like they they're they're naturally uh nurturers healers um you know they can show you that that vibration of love and they can do that with their body and that's why a lot of women are they have high sex drives and if you are a guy and you, and you happen to have a high sex drive just know that with that same energy, you have the ability to heal. You also have the ability to digmatize these motherfuckers. So you got to be careful. You see what I'm saying? With great power comes great responsibility. So um, don't feel bad if you feel like you have a high sex drive. Honestly, you should, I, you should feel good. Your libido should be past the roof, okay? Especially if you're still in your 20s or 30s, 40s. I Like... 
in the future, bro, it's either going to go two ways. It's either there's going to be a certain amount, a, a, a percentage of men who are going to embrace their masculinity and they're going to go back to literally being men. And I want to say the new prime for a man, quote unquote, being still, you know, young and vibrant. I, dare I say it, it could be 40 or 50. It probably could be 50 because I'm seeing a lot of 40 year olds that look young as hell. So it's either going to go that way where like, our, uh, us as men, like we will kind of basically evolve or we're going to devolve because if we keep eating all these stuff that has all the estrogen and, and we keep releasing our seed and if we keep watching these pixels and stuff like that, and now you got suggestive, like, uh, like say for example, if you're watching something and you fuck around and watch some other shit that you really went on, but by seeing that, when you keep seeing society push like, oh, this is normal, it's okay. It's gonna be a lot more guys that's gonna be in a feminine energy than they masculine energy. And before you know it, the powers that be, they trying to they trying to eradicate a certain type of gender. I'm gonna give it a being. That's my belief. I don't know if it's true or not, but based on what the fuck I'm seeing and how I'm connecting the dots, they don't wanna, they don't they don't really, they don't really want us. Masculine men, like, you know what I'm saying? Existing. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like, you got to understand that whole entire plot. This shit goes deep. It goes, it's all about how they manipulate frequencies, uh, music, um, you know what I'm saying? Mind control, the foods. The easiest way to get to any human or to get to any guy, food and sex. That's it. Food and sex or sex and food. So keep your awareness like where it needs to be, bro, because um, we all just need to wake up to the fact that like we become our own demise if we don't do nothing about how we're living. We can't we can we can have a human experience. We can have fun, but we also have to, I would say, build up that God energy, those God particles within your body. The longer I feel like you are within that vibration is the better chance that you'll have of like, if you happen to step out, if you want to do this or do that, if you want to backslide, if you want to start going back to doing fuck shit, because you know, that's what life is all about. Life is all about the yin and the yang, the good and the bad. You know, I'm not saying purposely do that, but you're human, you know what I'm saying? So, but at least you won't fall into a pit where you can't get yourself out of. MGT, what to do? It's your boy, Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do. Man, become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways-ass matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout-out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. Yo, stay tapped in. Drink your water. Drink your H3O. You know, I got my smoothie right here. You know what I'm saying? I know a little purple and stuff because I had a, I actually had to put some black uh, blackberries in this, but this is actually a green machine drink. But I I, I put like three berries in this motherfucker because, you know, I got to feed the brain uh, so, so the brain can like, you know what I'm saying, operate at a high level. Um, but yeah, I've been having green drink. Uh, I, I didn't eat nothing last night purposely. And it was crazy because I had me a plate in there, but I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm going to chill. I got some lemons in this bit. I got some, uh, well, I got lemons, celery. Uh, what else I got in here? A splash of like some thyme, like a splash, like, you know what I'm saying? I like to throw some, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Listen, if y'all want to know the best way, like how to live as far as nutrition wise, you know, I said it in my video a couple of days ago too, but y'all keep awakening. He's uh, pretty dope. I seen him. I seen him on the internet a couple years ago, and he was around. He was around the time when like the uh, Doctor Sebi wave was going on. So you know, also you know, look into like Doctor Sebi where he was talking about with different foods and shit like that. If you want to like really educate yourself and go down that that wormhole, um, or uh, the rabbit hole, I would say whatever. Same shit. Pause. Whatever. It's crazy you got to say that in today's day and age. But um, what I plan to do 
is, uh, you know, I will be streaming again pretty soon. I know I haven't gone live in about like two weeks, but uh, I want to do some live reaction to like some of the information that I've came across. And then I want y'all opinions and I want y'all feedback and y'all let me know if it's some bullshit or not. Um, any vitamins that you guys suggest, please let me know down in the comment section below. Um, and it's not just for me, but it's just for anybody else. Because, again, I'm making this space, you know what I'm saying, for this is pretty much, this is free content. Y'all ain't paying for this shit. You feel me? I, I'd appreciate a donation or two, but, you know, or a like or, you know what I'm saying, a super chat. But for real, for real, like, I'm. this is free information. You know what I'm saying? And this is all information about you. This is all about you. You know, and so with that being said, take back your power. Have a fantastic day. Stay in the right type of uh, frequency, peace, love, healing, all that good stuff. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.